This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, I have a mesh with partial edge loops around the border. Any tricks to make it go all the way around? So this question was sent along with an image, and here we have the image here. So the user was creating some armor pieces for their model, and you can see they have an edge loop that's going around the border here. But then at this part of their model, you can see that edge loop does not exist. So the question is asking if there is a way to come through and quickly add that edge loop back in, and then connect it to the existing edge loop. So that way, if you come through and insert an edge here, it goes all the way around the model. So to start off, I'm just gonna hop into ZBrush here, and I have a quick piece of geometry here that kind of mimics the design elements that the user had. So my mesh here has this edge loop that's going all the way around it, and then when it gets to this point here, you can see that edge loop does not exist. So if I were to come through and add an insert edge loop through here, it would go all the way across, and then it would stop abruptly right there. So I'm just going to go through the process of how to come in and add an edge loop to this area using some techniques with the ZModeler brush. So the first thing we want to do is we want to apply some polygroups to our model. Now this model has some hard edges, so it has a clearly defined front panel, a clearly defined back panel, and then it has these edges in between. So I can quickly come through and use a polygroup process by normals to establish some quick polygroups on my model. So I first go to the tool palette over here, and then I'm going to go down to the polygroup area. And then in here, I'm going to click the Groups by Normals button. This is going to look at the surface geometry of your model and establish a new polygroup based on the normals. So you can see now I have a polygroup on the front, one on the back. I have one along that bottom side that goes all the way around, and then one right through here. So now that I have my model broken into these nice polygroups, I can use these with the ZModeler brush to start adding some geometry to my mesh and get that edge border cut in. So I need to select the ZModeler brush next. And to do this, I'm gonna cover the brush palette over here and open this up. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna locate the ZModeler brush. Correspondingly, you can also use the hotkey B, Z, and M. And that will select the ZModeler brush as well. Now the ZModeler brush is a context sensitive brush. So if you hover across a poly, an edge, or a point, you're gonna be able to perform different actions across your model. So we wanna come across one of the polys on the edge here, and you can see by default, this is gonna be set to QMesh a poly. So this is gonna allow us to take that poly and extrude it out like this. Well, instead of just extruding one poly, we wanna come through and we wanna extrude all the polys that are in this poly group. So we just need to modify this QMesh property. And to do this, we're gonna hover over that poly again, and then we're gonna press spacebar to go in the ZModeler poly action menu. In here at the top, you can see we have the QMesh action selected, and then our target is currently set to a single poly. So we wanna change this from a single poly to polygroup island. So I'm gonna come over here and click that. And now with polygroup island selected, wherever I click to perform that QMesh action, it's gonna look at the polygroup of the poly I'm on, and then it's also going to perform that action to any polys that have the same poly group connected to it. So as I come across the poly here and click and drag, it's gonna perform that QMesh action and it's gonna do it across that entire poly group. So you can see now I have that process happening there. Now at this stage, it looks like I've just gone through and added that edge loop. However, this edge loop isn't connected. So if I come across an edge over here and insert an edge loop, you're gonna see that this edge loop is going to stop. So it's not going to continue through this area when I add it. So I need to modify the geometry of this poly and this poly so that that edge loop is continuous and goes all the way through the mesh. Now the process to do this is pretty simple. So we just need to come to our mesh at these corners and we just need to hover over one of those edges and then we need to press spacebar to go into the ZModeler edge action menu. In here we want to locate the edge action of collapse. Now with this selected, if we hover across an edge, and we click and drag one way, it's gonna collapse the edge one way. And if you drag the other way, it's gonna collapse the edge the other way. So what we wanna do is we wanna perform this collapse action and make sure that this point here is collapsing on that point. So clicking on the edge and dragging downward should perform that collapse, and this should be the result I'm getting. Now I wanna do the same thing on the back side, so clicking and dragging to collapse that edge. And then I wanna do the same thing with these top edges. So clicking and dragging to collapse that edge, and clicking and dragging to collapse that edge. Now you can see after that process is done, I now have this nice loop going around. Now I can repeat the process at the bottom as well. So coming down here, clicking and dragging to collapse, clicking and dragging to collapse, 
and then collapsing this one, and then this one too. So now I've gone through and I've Q-meshed out that part of my model that wasn't there to get that edge loop. And then I've gone through and modified the polygons at this edge and then this edge right down here. So now I've come across my model and hover over an edge again and then select the insert option. And now insert an edge loop, you're gonna see that edge loop is going to go all the way through that entire edge loop. So it's no longer stopping at those borders. Now after you have your mesh set up like this, you can now come in and modify these to kind of make this a little smoother through here. To do this quickly, you can just hold Control and Alt and drag a mask rectangle brush across those points there. When you release while holding Control and Alt, this is going to kind of perform a selection. So it's going to unmask the parts that are in that box and then mask everything else. Now I can switch to the Gizmo 3D and click this Go to Unmasked Mesh Center. I can then use the screen space move to kind of move that into position, clear my mask, hold down Control and Alt, select this edge here, do that same process again by clicking Go to Unmasked Mesh Center, and then moving that into position as well. And now I have gone through and cleaned up that edge of the model there. I can do an auto groups over here in the tool polygroup area to get it back to one polygroup. And now I can come through and continue detailing my mesh. So that is a quick rundown on how to go through and fix an area of your model that may not contain an edge loop that you want to keep consistent across the entire surface. So simply using the QMesh action with the polygroup all function to expand the border out and then going in with the edge collapse action to collapse the edges that were unneeded. And then that should now give you this nice topology through the edges there. So when you come through and insert that edge loop, it's going to insert all the way around. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.